My name is LeVar Daniel, 36 years old, originally from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Been living here basically all my life. I moved away for a small couple of years, stayed in Columbus, Mississippi, but quickly returned back to here around the age of 14. I had planned my life out to end at the age of 25. I ran in the streets ever since I was 14 years old until I was 30 years old. I was trapped in the illusion of thinking that I was gonna make a whole lot of money, take the money, start me a business. But I went in the game the same way I came out, broke, nothing. I obtained a lot of knowledge, but thank God I didn't catch any charges. So I was still able to, to keep continue on doing the things that I wanted to do in life. But it, it's several people around here. It was a drug raid like five years ago. Uh, maybe 35 or 40 people went to jail for five. The least time I heard was probably five years. I know a few people, they got life. A few people got 30 years, 20 years. I, I don't even want to think about doing that much time in my life. I don't have that to waste. In the drug game, crack cocaine here in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, if you get caught with one rock, you facing 10 years in jail. I know people out here risking their life every day taking 10 year, 20 year, 30 year penitentiary chances just for uh, enough money to eat. Not even enough money to buy the joys that y'all see them wearing or the, or the gold chains or rings or the gold teeth or anything like that because most of that stuff only come about one time a year and that time is coming up now, tax time. People usually don't have a lot of money. They It's just, just all the front. Drug dealers are losing. I, I even heard like one thing that really got me bad down was Future Song. He said, God blessing all the trap niggas. That's a false statement. And a lot of these rappers putting these images in young people's heads, they telling them to do drugs, and the rappers don't even do drugs. The rappers don't go to the club. The rappers at home with their wives and their children taking care of their kids. They, they putting this facade out on TV and, and kids are believing it and it's only entertainment. Music is for entertainment purposes only. If you listen to the rappers, they tell you it's for entertainment purposes. But the kids on the street taking it as real life and trying to implement it in their life, and it never worked. Nine times out of 10, you don't get the jail time before you get the money that you planned on saving up. We have to start sharing knowledge. That's the main and the most important thing that we have to do. I knew, I knew of thousands of ways to make money, but I never had the knowledge of business to sit down and make everything work the proper way that it's supposed to. You can't ride a bike without a wheel. You can't ride a bike without a chain. It takes several components to put things together the right way to make something move. We all know each other because mostly everybody here grew up together in this small community. What we have to start doing is put our, put our problems and prides to the side and start coming together collectively to make this thing work like a well or a machine. We got, we got hundreds of people to do, do small things and together like, like if, if y'all seen the cartoon Voltron. When they down as one, they can they can fight several people, but when they come together, they stronger as ever, and they always defeat their enemy. And that's the type of that's the type of approach that we need to take on this town to make everything better. I, I guess I call it the Voltron approach. If you have a a dream or a plan, stick with it. Don't let your mama, daddy, auntie, uncle, nobody stop you from your plan. The reason why people don't believe in other people because they don't believe in themselves. That's the reason why you have to believe in yourself. And I, I guess that'll just be my message to everybody in the world.